Hello, I'm Peter Whittle. Now, during the past week, you might have seen a picture which I think sums up the events we have been witnessing on our streets during the past month. It shows a group of isolated and despondent looking poppy sellers surrounded by thousands of protesters who had effectively taken over Charing Cross Station in London. Now, I suspect most of these protesters have no idea or care even less what remembrance means to the vast majority of people in this country, the silent majority, or what I would prefer to call the silenced majority. I think we can say with some confidence that the chances of most of these demonstrators even wearing a poppy this coming weekend are virtually nil. As we all know now, a massive demonstration is being held tomorrow, Armistice Day, when there is a two minute silence at 11 o'clock, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. Now the arguments as to whether or not the march should go ahead have raged all week, but there is a crucial point to be made and it is this. This march, which could be hundreds of thousands strong, with people being bussed in from northern towns such as Rochdale and Dewsbury, shows a profound lack of respect for our most important traditions, a lack of simple decency, and is a provocative show of strength by those who we have seen showing support for terrorists, calling for jihad, defacing our monuments, and tearing down posters of kidnapped victims. Now I've said before that I have no faith in the authorities and no faith in the police. The reaction of both of these to the events of recent weeks have, I believe, brought many people to the same conclusion. Sure enough, arguments about the march tomorrow started to become urgent only when it became clear that counter demonstrations might take place. There has been a shocking lack of political leadership. We are in a very serious place indeed, when veterans are advised not to wear their medals and poppy sellers have absented themselves from many of our public spaces. The media narrative, as we have seen operating on similar occasions to this in the past, is already in place. On the one hand, the protesters and on the other, merely far-right thugs. Whatever happens on Saturday, you can expect much of the coverage to reflect this, the media's own prejudices. But they should know that there are many millions in this country who are appalled at what they have been witnessing. Whatever the liberal elites might think, these people do not view remembrance as controversial nor do they see it as something which should be compromised. Well, what should they do? Well, I myself, along with some of my colleagues here at the New Culture Forum, will be going to central London simply to observe the silence and show respect for the fallen. But remember this, there are no less than 68,000 war memorials throughout Britain in villages, towns and cities. I would urge people to go to their local memorial to peacefully and respectfully observe the two minute silence. Perhaps this is something that you already do every year. But if not, perhaps this year you should join those who do. This is one of those moments when such gestures become all important. The philosopher Edmund Burke famously said that society is a partnership between those who have gone before, those who are living, and those yet to be born. Well, as the living, here is our chance to honour those who have gone before and protect and preserve the traditions of our society for those yet to come. At a time when many among us want to break that continuity, it has never been more important 
to stand up for it. Thank you. Thank you.